Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering various complexities of sorting algorithms and also I will explain what is divide and conquer strategy and asymptotic notations. Guys, I have uploaded complete PPS subject tutorials. I will provide link in description. You can watch from there. Before starting this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. At first, I will explain various complexities of sorting algorithms. Complexities are classified into two types. One is time complexity and another one is space complexity. Time complexity means amount of time that an algorithm required to complete its task is known as time complexity. And similarly, amount of space that an algorithm required is known as space complexity. These are various algorithms and their time complexities and space complexities. We call it as big O and we call it as theta and we call it as omega. You need to remember this. Best case time complexity of bubble sort is omega of n. And whereas average case time complexity of bubble sort is theta of n to the power of 2 and similarly worst case time complexity of bubble sort is big O n to the power of 2 and similarly worst case space complexity of bubble sort is big O of 1. Similarly best case time complexity of selection sort is omega n to the power of 2 and similarly best case time complexity of insertion sort is omega of n. Guys this table is very easy to remember for all these three sorting algorithms average case time complexity, worst case time complexity and worst case space complexity is same. Just you need to remember these three. Best case time complexity of linear search and binary search is big O of 1. And best case time complexity and worst case space complexity of linear search and binary search is big O of 1. And average case and worst case time complexity of linear search is big O of n. And average case, worst case, time complexity of binary search is big O of log n. This is important question. You need to remember this table. Next topic is divide and conquer strategy. What is meaning of strategy? Meaning of strategy is nothing but it is an approach or design to solve a particular problem is known as strategy. For example, if there is a problem in divide and conquer strategy, we will break down this problem into multiple sub problems. For example, this is large problem. I am breaking this large problem into multiple small problems P3, P4 and Pn. And we need to find solution to this each sub problem. This is solution 1, solution 2, solution 3, solution 4, so on solution n. And at last, and at last we need to combine all these solutions of sub problems into single solution this is known as divide and conquer strategy in divide and conquer strategy in divide and conquer strategy we divide single large problem this is single large problem into multiple small sub problems this large problem is divided into smaller sub problems and then find solution to each sub problem and then we are finding solution to each sub problem and at last we need to combine all these solutions to get solution to main problem this is known as divide and conquer strategy now i will write algorithm for this divide and conquer strategy divide and conquer strategy of problem if problem is small if problem is small then we can write solution directly meaning of this is if problem is small then we can write solution of this problem directly else if problem is large, then divide problem into multiple sub problems that is P1, P2, P3, so on, Pn. Apply divide and conquer strategy to P1, sub problem P1, divide and conquer strategy to sub problem P2, so on, divide and conquer strategy of Pn. And similarly, after similarly after that, after finding solution to the sub problems, we need to combine all the solutions of the sub problems combine divide and conquer strategy of p1 that is sub problem p1 p2 so on of pn here closes closes and at last closes this is algorithm for divide and conquer strategy next topic is asymptotic notations by using asymptotic notations we can calculate time complexity of an algorithm Time complexity means amount of time taken in order to execute an algorithm is known as time complexity. By using asymptotic notation, we can calculate best case time complexity, average case time complexity and worst case time complexity of an algorithm. I already explained what is best case, average case and worst case in previous example that is in linear search example. If we found the element in first position, 
then time taken is less so it is known as best case time complexity and if element is found in last position if we found element in last position then time taken is more so it is known as worst case time complexity and if element is found in between first and last element then it is known as average case time complexity asymptotic notations are classified into five types first one is big o notation it is denoted by capital o symbol second one is big omega notation third one is theta notation fourth one is little o notation and at last fifth one is omega notation i will explain each and every notations in detail first one is big o notation it is denoted by capital o symbol big o notation is mainly used to represent upper bound of an algorithm's runtime it is mainly used to represent upper bound of an algorithm and by using big o notation we can calculate worst case time complexity of an algorithm worst case time complexity mean algorithm which takes maximum time for execution is known as worst case time complexity so by using big o notations we can calculate maximum amount of time taken by an algorithm for execution this is known as big o notation main use is to calculate worst case time complexity this is definition of big o notation let f of n comma g of n be two non negative functions non negative is nothing but positive functions let f of n that is function f of n and function g of n these both are two non negative functions then f of n is equal to o into g of n here i took o because big o notation is denoted by capital o symbol so i took here f of n equal to o into g of n if there exist two positive constants that is c and n not this both are two positive constants such that f of n less than or equal to c into g of n for every n greater than n not meaning of this is condition f of n equal to o into g of n is satisfied if f of n less than or equal to c into g of n for every n greater than n not second i will explain this definition let f of n comma g of n be two non negative functions then f of n is equal to o into g of n if there exist two positive constants that is c and n not such that f of n less than or equal to c into g of n for every n greater than n not this is graphical representation of big o notations this is graph in which x axis represents number of elements that is denoted by it is denoted by small n symbol and y axis represents time it is denoted by small t symbol from center there are two lines passing first line is c into g of n and whereas second line is f of n c into g of n should be in upper position because i already explained big o notation is is mainly used to represent upper bound of an algorithm so c into g of n should be in upper position and whereas f of n should be below c into g of n that is in lower position and point at which these two lines meet is known as n not where n is greater than n not next i will explain big omega notation if you understand this big o notation remaining all these notations are very easy to understand because all are same as big o notation only some small changes now let me explain big o omega notation big o omega notation is mainly used to represent lower bound of an algorithm ram time whereas big o notation is used to represent upper bound of an algorithm but big o omega notation is used to represent lower bound of an algorithm and by using big o omega notation we can calculate best case time complexity of an algorithm best case time complexity mean minimum amount of time that an algorithm requires for execution is known as best case time complexity and by using big o omega notation we can calculate minimum amount of time that an algorithm requires for execution whereas big o notation is used to calculate worst case time complexity but big o omega notation is used to calculate best case time complexity this is definition of big o omega notation let f of n and g of n be two non negative functions then f of n equal to omega of g of n here i took omega because this is big o omega notation if there exist two positive constants c and n not such that f of n is greater than or equal to 
c into g of n for every n greater than n naught. This definition is same as big O notation. Only difference is that here in place of O, we used omega and in place of less than or equal to, we used greater than or equal to. Only these two difference. Here f of n is greater than or equal to c into g of n because here we are calculating best case time complexity because big omega notation is used to calculate best case time complexity. So, f of n is greater than or equal to c into g of n for every n greater than n naught. This is graphical representation of big omega notation. Here I took graph in which x axis represents number of elements and y axis represent time. And there are two lines passing from center. First line is f of n and whereas second line is c into g of n. Here c into g of n represent lower lower direction because big omega notation is mainly used to represent lower bound of an algorithm. So, so c into g of n is lower to f of n. Whereas in big O notation, I took c into g of n upward because it is used to represent upper bound. Whereas in big omega notation, it represents lower bound. So, I took c into g of n lower to f of n and point at which these two lines meet is known as n naught. Where n is greater than n naught. Third one is theta notation. Theta notation is mainly used to represent average bound of an algorithm and by using theta notation we can calculate average case time complexity. Average case time complexity mean average amount of time that an algorithm requires for execution is known as average case time complexity. By using theta notation we can calculate average case time complexity of an algorithm. This is definition of theta notation. Let f of n comma g of n be to non-negative functions. Then f of n equal to theta of g of n. If there exist three positive constants, they are c1, c2 and n naught such that c1 into g of n less than or equal to f of n less than or equal to c2 into g of n for every n greater than n naught. This is definition of theta notation. Whereas in big O and big o omega notations, there are only two constants that is C and N0. But whereas in theta notation, there are three positive constants. They are C1, C2 and N0. This is graphical representation of theta notation where there are three lines passing from center where C1 into G of N less than or equal to F of N that is lower bound. And whereas if you close this, F of N less than or equal to C2 into G of N which is an upper bound and where F of N is placed in between this. Next little o notation, there is no example and graphical representation of little o notation. There is only definition. Definition is let f of n comma g of n be to non-negative functions, then f of n equal to small o of g of n because it is little o notation such that limit n tends to infinity f of n by g of n equal to 0. This is little o notation. And next fifth one is little omega notation. Definition is same as little o notation. Difference is that here limit n tends to infinity g of n by f of n equal to 0.